Rose Crans Radio. I'm Rose Crans Vic, joined by Bankroll Benny. Yo, yo, what's good? It's your boy Bankroll. What's the deal? Everything, man. <laughs> my, my, move the mic up a little bit. Yeah, everything. My everything. boy, uh, extra, extra iced out right always, now. Always, always. <laughs> on, on God, every time I see you, it's super iced out. But I, today, I, I didn't. I never seen that OTR chain. That must be new. Oh yeah, you know we just got this one. Got a couple more on the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Just represent, you know. Yeah. So um, when I first when I first uh, discovered your music, um, I think Cypress sent it to me. Okay. And I forgot exactly what video it was. But it was like some super fly shit. Like you were in a Lambo. Oh, I think it was Glow. It probably was Glow. Oh yeah, yeah, Glow. I, yep. think, I think it was Glow. The McLaren. The McLaren. Yeah, yeah, it was just some wild, like some some wild shit. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I was like, I'm like, who is this dude? Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm like, I'm like confused. I'm just like, he's he's not a rapper I heard of before, but he's super iced out. You know what I mean? Like, the presentation, the video is like super high budget. I was hella confused. I'm like, where, like, I'm like, where is he from? Like, he's from, like, Canada or something. Like, I'm, you know, I'm just thinking, like, like he can't be from Canada. L.A. Like, no, like, I'm just thinking, because, like, because I think I know all the L.A. rappers, right? Right. Like, so, you know what I mean? I, I, I come upon, like, I stumble upon a new one, and I'm just like, what? Like, you know, I, I was, I, I just didn't know, you know what I mean? So then I'm like, I, his Cypress like, this was from L.A.? And then he's just like, yeah. And I'm just like, from where? He's like, I don't know. And then yeah. I'm like, this is pretty dope. You know what I mean? And then he was just like, yeah. Um, you know, he fucks with my people. You know, at the, I didn't know that he meant his people were soulless because I had already known soulless, you know, a little bit too. So it was just funny how I discovered it. And then, um, like, just had all, like I said, just had all these questions. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, you? S- speak about that because... You know what I mean? You're you're not like a like your typical you know new artist. I would say you know what I mean it's it's a lot of uh. It, well yeah you know cause, yeah because uh, well because first things first you know uh you probably don't know me as a rapper because I ain't just a rapper you know what I'm saying yeah. I'm not like all these rap people you know we really out here getting it and we really living it so I just felt like uh one day I got invited to the studio I hopped in there got into the music that shit was going cool and I was like you know fuck it let's run with it but let's really run with it and make that shit look fly so we dropped glow. We got the McLaren, that should look like Batman and shit like that. And then, <laughs> <I'm God. laughs> you know, and then we just kept going with the music thing. You know, I got tapped in with my people, my manager and stuff like that. And, you know, we're just like, let's run it. Let's do it all yeah. the way, 10,000%. Yeah. So, um, like you said, um, you know, you're not like a, like a, like your typical rapper. Did you have like rap dreams growing up or like what, what was like, did this ever like, you know, you know what? Did no, you ever want I, to do I, this? I never saw myself being a rapper or anything like that. Really, um, most thing I ever got close to rapping is just like smoking, hot boxing with my homies, and freestyling in the car. You know? But yeah. Like, <laughs> and were were you any good? Like? Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 nah, nah. They would always tell me like, "Hey, bro, you're pretty dope. Like, you should go, you should go get into it." And I never did it. And then um, one day I got invited to a good music studio. Yeah. Because my boy's the engineer right there. Okay. And I hopped in there and we we pumped out like four songs that night. And he was like, "Yo, like, you should really." You should really do it. Yeah. And then just since then we just been running with it. Yeah. And that was it. Cause um, I've I've met like a, the other day we we're like at a video shoot. I met one of your your homies and he was just telling me like how you can freestyle a whole song like from beginning to end. <laughs> and I was like, word, like I have to see this. Like I haven't seen you in the studio yet. But he was just going on and on like he could freestyle for whatever for whatever amount of time about whatever. Um. Which was like pretty shocking to me, like you know what I mean, like yeah, speak this, about that, like how do you how did you is it just natural like are you good with words, are you good on your feet like I mean, what, what yeah, is it? just like when when the beat is right, I guess you could say it's the beat, like when yeah. the beat, I could just feel it, and it's like uh, I guess it just comes natural because I'm not just talking, I'm really speaking on real life situations and things I've been through, so it's real easy for me to go and lay that out onto the track, yeah, and you know I mean, and I want people to feel that same energy that I'm putting into it, you know, so yeah. It's really not that difficult to it. And that's pretty much how I make all my music, too. I don't write. I don't do none of that. I just hop in the booth, feel it, freestyle it. That's a rap. It's done. Yeah. Who are some of uh, your influences, like some people you grew up listening to? Um, J. Cole, for sure, bro. Like, J. Cole. Yeah. Drake, you know, legends in my eyes. Um, You know, uh, really just them two right there, bro. Like, that's my idols right there. Like, I'm trying to be, like, at that level. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I look at the greats, and I just try to... Just get inspiration from them and just do the same thing. Yeah. Come out. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, definitely. Um, so talk to me a little bit about like your upbringing. Like, you know, like you said, you like to just hot box and smoke with the homies in the car. <laughs> like, you know, were, were you like a good kid? Were you a bad kid? Like what, what kind of kid was bankroll Benny? Um, I was a good kid. Just grew up in a bad environment. So I got to see the best of both worlds. You know, I always saw like all these things around me and I realized that it don't got to be that way. It could be different. And I just hustled smarter. And I got myself and got my family out the hood. And, you know, just all blessings, all the glory to God, really, for that one. And that's just really how things turned out for me. Yeah. Um, when I, like, describe people, describe you to people, I say, like, L.A.'s newest hustler turned rapper. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> like, it's not too different. Like you said, you're not your typical rapper, but it's it's not too different of a story. You know what I mean? I think you just went about it a little differently. Yep. You know what I mean? And kind of, um, you know what I mean, a- achieved... Like, you achieved some, like, success, you know, monetarily before you ever entered, like, into the rap thing. Yeah, because I feel like there's levels to this shit. You know, a lot yeah. of people want to come into the game and they want to just be rappers and shit, but it's not all about just rap. Like, there's really levels to this shit. Like, you got to really boss up. And when you come out here, like, you can't just be talking about some lifestyle you don't live. Yeah. You feel me? Because uh, that's really what happened. I liked rap when I was young. Yeah. But I had my boy, and I did a song, and he... I did a dope ass song, right? But he, he kind of tried to knock me. He's like, "Hey, do you really have any of that shit?" Yeah. And I was like, "Nah, I didn't." And I went and I hustled. I ran up the bag, and now I got all that shit. And I hear everybody rapping about it. And I'm like, "Oh fuck, it. I'm gonna rap about it too, man. I really got it." So yeah. That's really how. And then the passion behind it, and it just, man, it's just how it turned out. Definitely. Um, so, you know, what? Um, what re- like is is a uh, is like owning a record label is is like merch like what aside from like rap like do you have any other aspirations like yeah of course of course you know like I also got my own record label I got artists that I'm working with you know where I'm, I'm also developing artists and uh and artists I see talent with and not only just talent but hard work you know if they're hard working they got talent I'm willing to put up a little bag behind them help them grow as artists you know we've done that with our team and you know. Uh, that's something that we plan on doing, really scaling that shit to the next level. You feel me? Yeah. Definitely. We, we worked, I got, uh, work with people like MB Nell, you know, done projects with um, Stupid Young, Swifty Blue. I got upcoming artists, uh, Cinco. That's one of my boys okay. from Texas. He's coming up. We haven't put his music out yet, but he's, his shit's crazy, you know? So He was we, on, on that, uh... Oh, yeah, on, on that song, Never Lacking. Yep. Never Lacking, yeah. So that's another artist we're working with. So we're really out there finding talent, and we're really trying to just scale this shit to the next level. You know what I'm saying? We come in, we come in we're hitting the ground running, and that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Um, so if people haven't heard your music, um, who would you maybe, like, compare it to or what kind of sound, you know what I mean? You know what? Because I don't think it sounds like your typical L.A. music. And it's not. West Coast, yeah. And it's not because I feel like L.A. has this one sound. Yeah. And I really want to stray away from that. And I really want to just bring my own value to the marketplace. Yeah. So I guess if you could compare it, I guess, I don't know, probably like in that little Baby, Gunna, Drake vibe, shit like yeah. that, you know? Because that's what I listen to. Yeah. So that's the type of music I'm going to make, the yeah. stuff that I like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's like penthouse music. For sure. You know what I mean? Like music. it sounds better when like you have a city view, like, you know what I mean? Like a, big big glass windows, like, you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's penthouse music. It's loft music. It's Bentega music. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's the type of style it is. It's player music. Yeah. <laughs> smoke a flat blunt with a ba- smoke a fat blunt with a bad bitch, you know what I'm saying? Put my shit on, man. Like that's how it is. I didn't know what a Ben Taker was until like, I think you told me. Yeah, I think we're talking about it. We're talking about yeah. it. And I was like, I didn't know what he said. I didn't know what Roddy Rich said in Ballin. And I was like, what's a Ben Taker? I'm like, I'm not even. I'm like, I'm I'm not there yet. I'm not at that level. And you're like, oh, it's a Bentley truck, bro. Like, come on, you don't know that. And I'm just yeah, like, yeah, nah, man. bro. I don't <laughs> like. I'm not there yet, my boy. <laughs> I was like, don't don't trip, bro. I'll pick you up and don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> with the Bentley, just the flaws. So. <laughs> That's hell funny. Um, so uh, you have a new project coming out? Yeah, we do Dust Till Dawn. Okay. Dust Till Dawn drop in uh, twelve twelve. You know, it's just gonna go crazy. And um, the name, you know, the theme behind it, Dust Till Dawn, what, what, is, uh, what is it? Well, it really got multiple meanings to me. And, you know, uh, first thing is, you know, grinding Dust Till Dawn is really how I, I made it to that level yeah. where I was trying to be at. You know what I'm saying? You got to do what others want to have what others don't. So I was out there grinding every single day in and day out until I could achieve and manifest all of my dreams. And also, uh, when I started getting to the music, I was, I was doing what I do and the music. So I was in the studio Dust Till Dawn as well. 
So when it came time for the project, it just made sense for me, like, dust till dawn, because that's how we're getting it every day in every way. Yeah, definitely. Um, and, you know, on this project, like, what, what can we expect from it? Like, you know, um, what kind of vibes are you giving off? Like, um, I would say all vibes, because I feel like I really just don't have one vibe, but one vibe I am really giving off onto these people is just a... Uh, it's that money making music, bro. When you put this thing on, like it's gonna make you want to grind, and it's gonna want to make you level up to that next level. Yeah, you know, cause that's what I want people to do. I want people to go out there, and I want them to listen to this music and be like, "Damn, I'm trying to get to that next level. I'm trying to go get that, them trophies and prizes, that everything." You feel me? Yeah. So that's my intention, really. Motivate. Motivate. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, if you listen to that shit, you know, it's like it's really what a what a day in the life of a hustler is gonna go through. You could play that shit from 1 to 12, and you're going to really feel everything that I'm talking about throughout the whole project. Yeah. So that's what I'm going for. That That's super dope. Um, do you have any features on the project? Uh, yeah, I do. I got I got a couple. Um, I got Drago and Bino. Fire. We got a track coming out together. That's going to go crazy. I got a track with Young on there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a, I already released a track with Moneybag Yo. Yeah. And then I got some unreleased shit coming out. Uh. Next year, I got some tracks with Smoke Perp okay. coming out. Got some tracks with MB Nail. So, I mean, I could go on for days, bro, but we really got... we, we 2020, man, we're going crazy. Yeah. No cap, man. Hell yeah. Some more Bentegas. Some more Bentegas, <laughs> man. For the whole squad, bro. <laughs> for everybody. <laughs> That's dope. Um, So, speak about, um, you know, the man sitting next to you right here. How you met Solis and, you know, um, how you guys been working together. You know... Uh, when we met Solis at first, you know, we were just uh, we were doing a lot of business together. You know, we were just doing what we do. And um, when we first linked up, I actually, uh, he was uh, managing some artists. And I okay. told him, uh, hey, that's pretty dope. I've always wanted to get into the music industry. And uh, I brought like 10 artists to a room. <laughs> no cab. <laughs> I brought like 10 artists. Yeah. And I was like, all my homies rap. Like, let me get them in here. Let's manage them all. You yeah. know, we got the bag. Like, we'll we'll fund it. And we'll, All of them? We'll blow them up. <laughs> yeah. So, I, so I brought. I, I I didn't know. I never really done the music. Thing, so yeah. I brought. I brought ten rappers in the studio. You know, they yeah. were all right there. No producers. Just ten rappers. No, n- <laughs> nothing, a rap bro. Acapella. <laughs> no producer. <laughs> bro, like, I I found a random engineer that was there right then and there, and then um, that but that was funny because that was the same night that I got invited to the studio to record myself. Okay. And so I saw everybody rapping, and I went that night and I recorded. And I was like, you know what? I'm better than everybody in here. <laughs> that, I, I took the words out of my mouth, bro. I, I didn't have to say it, you know. But um, I was like, if I'm going to put money behind anybody, I'm going to bet on me. Yeah. Because I know if I bet on me, I'm going to always win. Yeah. So that's just what I did. That's um, dope. That's, that's a crazy story. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, this man right here, though, a lot, of, a lot of great things to say about him. You know what I'm saying? The mindset, all that stuff. Surround yourself around people who want the same goals as you. You feel me? Like, yeah. we met because we out there trying to get to that next level, and that's all we're going to do every day is just keep grinding going to that next level. That's that's super dope. Um, So anything else you want to, you know, let people know before we get out of here? Shit, my project dropping 12, 12. Go, go fucking run that shit. Yep. We got merch coming soon. We got everything coming soon. Designer merch. I'm not even playing with you. Yep. On top. Fabric. <laughs> I mean, you, you think Burberry's nice. You think Vinci nice, man. Wait till you throw on that bankroll. Hey, that's fire. I need I need a, I need a few of them. Oh, I got you a care package. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yes, sir. Done deal. Oh, shout out Dono. Dono just uh, checked in to the live. Yo, yo, shout yo. Shout out to homie Dono. Shout out Dono. Um, I don't know Dono, but shout out Dono. You don't know him? Nope. He was at the uh, the listening party, Swifty listening party, the big oh, dude. Oh, that's the homie. Yeah, Shout exactly. out Dono. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Shout me out too. Yeah. Dono, yeah, hey, Dono. Bankroll. Shout out the homie Bankroll Benny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Dono, Dono low-key famous. <laughs> oh, word? Yeah. Oh, we got, we got to tap in. <laughs> Play Wait. my shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> but my Got shit. <laughs> Got a care package for you too, man. On God. On God. Finest material in the game. Yep. And um, there's going to be a, a, a album release party. Yeah, album coming. release party. Yep. Yep. So anybody tap in. Um, shit, man. Yeah, everybody go stream that. Uh, Dust Till Dawn when it drops. Bankroll Benny, Rosecrans Radio. We out.